Hi guys, welcome to part seven of Memory Lane. Anyway, um, I haven't been up too long. I didn't sleep really well, well last night. Um, well, I slept okay, but I didn't sleep long enough. I'm here at a truck stop. Anyway, um, I know I said in the last video that I was going to uh, come back and do a part two of living on living on a boat because the first video was so it was so long. Um, it ended up being all total it was like 28 minutes on the first video and then the second half of the video was like four or five minutes and then with the video the videos and slideshows I did of the boat it ended up being 39 minutes all together and I know I promised I would come back with a part two and go through each step of the modification of the boat but I didn't do that um, you know I was gonna come back and do that right away but today's just not that day anyway um, I'm hoping to come back a little bit later and go through the steps and, and show you guys each and every step of what went into to the boat um, as far as, you know, the first couple of videos where that's the interior of the boat and then, the, you know, and then go from there, the prep and everything. Um, also, I, I included in the last video uh, some pictures of the studio shed. I also want to say um, not only do I have access to the boat and the studio shed, but I have also have access to quite a bit of acreage as well. Anyway, um, which is all part of a, a lease agreement I have with my landlord, former fiance who gave me a place to live when I needed to get, uh, get refuge from my alcoholic ex-husband. Anyway, um, but this video, um, of course, this is, this is memory lane. So moving on, um, I'm going to talk about that now. I'll come back, hopefully I'll come back later and do a much shorter video uh, and show you guys the boat instead of, because I ended up clamp, just clumping it all at the very end of the video, which I really don't like to do, but I ended up doing anyway, so, which I really, really don't like to do, but anyway, again, today's not that day that I'm going to come back and re redo, I mean, I talked about my work in the last video, I talked about a lot of stuff in, in the last video, I talked about the boat, I talked about my work, I talked about, uh, which I went into more detail than I intended, I talked about the studio show, I talked about a lot. Anyway, so anyway, this is Memory Lane, um, part, part, I think seven of Memory Lane, I, th I think. Anyway, um, I'll have to make sure. <laughs> I think the last one was the si sixth one, the one I did yesterday. Anyway, um, I'm just, you know, just just going over memory lane basically because of the accident partly because of the accident and you know I have a lot of old old not videos but old pictures and and I I prefer still photos over video but you know obviously it's YouTube so it's video and I think I said that before in another video anyway this uh, first little video or first slideshow that you're gonna see it was taken back or, or the pictures rather were taken back in about two years ago on the Blue Ridge Parkway in Western North Carolina at the time I was with my boyfriend ex-boyfriend and we had went up to uh, you know up to Blue Ridge Parkway and I took a bunch of pictures I have to say excuse me I have to say that I did not enjoy it as much as being on my own I really didn't Part of the reason is because, I, you know, I like to stop a lot. I take tons and tons of photos. Um, now that I take video, it would probably, it would take me even longer. And, but, but you know, I wanted to make a lot of stops because I had a lot of pictures I wanted to take. And he wasn't real, you know, I could tell he was like getting a little irritated. He didn't want to keep stopping. And I think he thought it was, you know... I, you know he wanted to go on the parkway and that was great that was an opportunity for me to take pictures and of course he said yeah you know great let's go you know this will, you can take your pictures but then when we got out there it was like okay he, he I think he thought I was gonna get out maybe maybe one place and or two places and take a few pictures and then you know take a couple pictures and that was gonna be it we were gonna drive through be on our way and and that's part of the whole thing I talked about where he wanted everything his way he wanted to kind of be in control of everything and I really didn't so I really didn't enjoy it that much I mean I enjoyed it but not near as much as when I'm on my own because when I'm on my own I can stop whenever I want to if I want to I can stay as long as I want I don't have to ask anybody when to leave and I really enjoy that anyway um, I'll be back with you guys in just a little bit
guys. Um, in this next video, this is uh, of a lake in South Carolina. Um, I'm not really sure exactly where it was. And you know what? I should remember that considering that we went boating there. Anyway, I, that's crazy that I can't remember it. But we've been boating quite a few places, so stands the reason I probably wouldn't remember them all. Anyway, um, that said, as I as I was talking about in the last video, I really didn't enjoy the Blue Ridge Parkway as much as I should have because, because of my uh, then boyfriend. We're still in contact. We still talk to each other, but that's about it. We're, we're not, we don't see each other, nothing like that. But anyway, we, um, we've remained amicable. We've remained, I guess you'd say friends, maybe, um, if you want to call, uh, talking on the phone, um, friendship. Anyway, but we do still talk and you know and he has kind of lent uh, uh you know uh, you know he's given me some advice you know and that I, I appreciate that but anyway um as far as the blue ridge parkway I, I like i said in the last video i didn't really enjoy that as much as i could have due to the fact that you know he he didn't he wanted me to just take a few pictures i think one or two and then that was it so because of that i didn't really enjoy it so anyway that's probably something I should put on my, um, kind of on my list to, I don't want to say my bucket list because I've been there a few times, a lot of times actually. Um, it's been a while though since I drove the whole Blue Ridge Parkway out. Um, you know, I've driven it through Virginia. I especially enjoy the Virginia section of it. Anyway, um, that's something I should put on my list since I won't be that far away from it. I should definitely put that on my list to do. Anyway, next video or slideshow rather is of a lake I'm not sure exactly where it was in South Carolina I know um, I, I've taken a lot of pictures of a lot of lakes anyway I'll be back with you guys in a little bit they were at the Cherokee Dam, uh, but I'm not sure. Last year, most likely, I know I uh, took a lot of pictures. In ten I was in Tennessee quite a bit last year, uh, several times. I know first I was in, I went through Tennessee when in the, my Taurus, and then I came back, and I uh, went through Tennessee in my Focus, the one that was, the one that's been totaled. Anyway, um, so I'm pretty sure that that's where it was at the Cherokee Dam. I, I know there's there's a lot of beautiful dams in Tennessee, and every time I go, I like to like to visit. Anyway, um, it's kind of noisy out here. A lot, a lot of truckers coming in and out this morning. This one's also very busy. I know I talked about this in another video. The last uh, truck stop was really really busy, and this one's apparently really really busy too. Now not at night, but during the day, they're just super super busy. Anyway. Um, the next two slideshows, of course, are right together. The first one is of the river or lake or whatever, the dam area, the water. And the second one is of the, the skyline and, and the nature and, and such. Anyway, be back in just a bit. Hi, this next slideshow is of uh, just some nature of uh, some pretty yellow flowers. Um, I'm not, Black Eyed Susans I think is what my mom used to call them. I'm not really sure exactly what they are, but just nature. Uh, probably taken in South Carolina. As you can see, I spend a good majority of my time in South Carolina, partly because that's where my work takes me. Anyway, um, I'll be back in just a bit.
Hi, next up is a, a little wilted pink flower. Um, I'm not sure if it's getting ready to pop out for spring or it's coming to an end in the fall. Not sure. Next up are some leaves. Uh, again, uh, more leaves. I take a lot of pictures of leaves. I'm not sure why I enjoy taking pic pictures of the leaves, but I, but I do, and I enjoy taking pictures of, of plants and, and things of that nature, too. Next up, yellow flowers, um, tulips, I believe. Anyway, um, I believe this one has music added to it. Um, anyway, no idea where I took them, doesn't really matter. Hi, this next slideshow is of some, I'm not sure what they are. Uh, my ex-husband calls them flowers. I call them weeds. Anyway, they were taken at a, at a church in Virginia. Hi, next up, pink flowers. Next up, more flowers. Uh, they're like pinkish purple.
hi. Next up is a, a slideshow of the sky. It's just sky and cloud photos. Anyway, um, it's the last video I'm going to do for, or last slideshow I'm going to do for this video. Anyway, um, I just, I, I kind of like, uh, I, I know some people may not be interested in, in the picture, the picture uh, part of it, but it, it's, it's kind of, for me, it's, I guess, I don't know, may not be for other people, but, but for me, it's kind of lethargic, you know, I go back over the, you know, and, and share some of the, the past pictures I've taken. I, I didn't do video until a couple months ago, so I'm, I'm kind of, I'm brand new at this. Anyway, um, so, you know, and it makes me, I guess, I don't, I don't want to say feel better, but it, 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 it's lethargic or, or, I'm not really sure how to put it, but it makes me feel better. Um, as far as what car I was in, and then that's the whole reason I started this, um, this series is just to go over, you know, some of the places I visited and, you know, whatever car I was in, most likely the Focus, but I might not have been, I might have been in my blue Taurus, and I will come back and talk more about that later. Basically, I've lost, I'm in my fifth car this year, so I've, I've, you know, and I saw my property this year, I was in a bad tractor trailer accident, I pretty much, I've lost everything. I pretty much lost every, all, all, almost everything. Um, I still have the house, but it needs a ton of work, like $15,000 worth of work. My ex-husband's living there. Dealing with him when he's drinking is an impossibility. Um, it's just, just I've pretty much lost everything. Of course, I, I do still have the boat I live on, but that that's not mine. I don't own that. That, that belongs to my landlord, you know, and at any time he could say, um, I want to sell the boat or I, you know, I don't want to rent it anymore, whatever, you know, so that's not, that's not mine, you know, I'm talking about what belongs to me, the boat, of course, is just, just is, I live on it, I rent it, you know, lease it, whatever, lease agreement, but everything else is, you know, I don't own that, so then everything else, my car's I lost all of that. I had en ended up having, basically had to sell my property. One of the pieces of property was in very rundown condition. I had to sell it. Plus, I had to sell it to cover my dad's uh, debt. His probate is still open. And it's been years, and, and there's just the money wasn't there to, to uh, pay off the debt. So, anyway, finally, um, I was able to sell the property, and after... My ex-husband lived in the house for a while, and when he finally moved out, I decided it was time to just get rid of it. I didn't want to pay taxes on it any longer, and I needed I needed to try to get something. Um, sold it to an investor. I, that's what I do for a living, so I know that they're not going to give anything, you know. And the one thing that I, I, I didn't talk about, and I am going to talk about this a little more as far as my work goes, because they actually... Person that agreed to buy the property actually reassigned. Excuse, I know that's loud. Reassigned the contract to someone else, and that part of it I'm not familiar with. And I've talked about this a little in the past, and I will come back and talk a little more about my work um, a little bit later because you know some of what I dealt with when I sold my property, I, I have not I've not dealt with in on my as far as my work goes. I my uncle and his business partners. They are the end buyers. They don't reassign the contracts. Anyway, um, I don't want to talk about going to a long drawn out on that. If I do, I'll be I'll be here I'll be here all day talking about it. Anyway, um so again this was part seven of memory lane. Um just there's a lot of memories and I guess and I'm sharing them. Uh granted not in in the video format that is most people like to see, but it's in the only video format I have because, you know, and there's so many places I can't possibly go back and, and, and visit them all. Even if I knew where they, even if I knew where all I'd went, um, it's impossible for me to go back and revisit all the places I've been. Um, I'm re I'm, of course I'm doing new videos on some of the, on actual video on places that I'm, I'm going now. Yesterday was kind of, um, just a fluke. I ended up seeing the Battle of Camden site and I, I did that. So, and of course, I did Liberty Hill, but I revisited Liberty Hill. I wanted to go specifically back to that one and Rembert Church as well. Anyway, um, I'm almost out of time, so I'm going to conclude. Have a good day. God bless. Peace.